Have you ever heard songs like Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, or Nobody Knows the Troubles I've Seen? Well then, you have a sense of the Negro spirituals sung by generations of black people. Historian W.E.B. Du Bois said, they that walk in darkness sang songs in the olden days, sorrow songs, for they were weary at heart. Through all the sorrow, there breathes a hope, a faith in the ultimate justice of things. But how does sorrow breathe hope? That probably doesn't make much sense to our modern ears, right? That's where the word lament comes in. In the Book of Lamentations, things were terrible for the Jews with a capital T. Babylon had totally destroyed their nation and took a small remnant of them into slavery and exile. But through all of this horribleness, there was an underlying expression of hope in God and his ultimate justice. Lamentations 3.24 says, The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I hope in him. That is incredible. Even amid unimaginable suffering, a verse like that was written? This means hope waits on God, even in times of lament. So why do so many people today say things like, I'm tired of hearing about the black struggle? Why do we as a culture want to sweep that under the rug? I think for some, it really is just easier to look away. But when you and I lean in, it makes us find ways to reconcile the pains of life, personal hurts, public fears, and our need for one another. Our sorrows point to a loving, all-powerful heavenly parent who can and will breathe hope into all of our hearts and needs.